October has proven to be a crazy month and a crazy year, with the release of Terraria 1.4.1, which is the game's final content patch, and the upcoming release of Mobile 1.4. It's a little hard to sort everything out that's floating around, news-wise, but it has been fun wading through it all. And thanks to everyone who's been supporting the channel. As cliched as it sounds, I really do appreciate it. And as busy as things have been, I did have a few moments to review Discord for some, you know, extra commentary from the developers. And Loki, who has been largely absent from Discord of late, made his return around the time of the 1.4.1 release. I suppose he has a bit of extra time now to attend to some community outreach now that the hard work of 141 is complete. So without further ado, let's see what he had to say. I'm just gonna sit here and play some 1.4 mobile, if that is okay. And he would later show this clip. I think he's quite a big fan of 1.4's golf. He's shown golf off before. If you've been paying attention over the past few weeks, he's certainly shared clips before. But how's that for some passive aggressive commentary from Loki? And Penguillion had this to say. Man, do you really gotta flex on us like that, Mr. Loki? Well said, sir. Well said. Loki followed up with, Zenith is fun on mobile. That is all. Touch of death. Now that sword is definitely OP no matter how it's controlled, whether it's gamepad or mouse or you name it. That's just an amazing weapon. Amberleaf is healthy asked, Why did you abandon Otherworld? Meaning Terraria Otherworld. And Loki said, at some point, you got to make a decision to cut bait when something is just so far from where it needs to be. That is a shame that they did cancel Otherworld, but on the other hand, would we have gotten as many Terraria upgrades if they'd continued with Otherworld? Something to think about. User Moment 1231 writes, Line 4's gamepad like for mobile because game because mobile's controls are wonky and chonky. I cannot get used to it, man. So evidently not a fan of the touch controls. And Loki responded to that with, you know that mobile has gamepad support and that you can customize the touch controls, right? Devourer of Spoops writes, I honestly prefer the newer mobile controls, but so many of the buttons are unnecessary. Loki once again replied with, and that is why you now have the ability to remove or move anything you want or don't want. So yeah, these mobile touch controls are highly customizable, which is pretty impressive for a mobile game. Slash is stupid writes, Loki, one question, why did you add it in Notch said you could or what? Referring of course to a creeper costume that's a vanity object in the game. And Loki's response to that was, we had direct permission from Notch to add creeper costume. And he carried on with saying, same with Portal Gun and Team Fortress 2 stuff, direct permission from Valve. Grateful Potato writes, Loki, will Mobile 1.4 launch with 1.4.12? Meaning, of course, if it was a little ambiguous, they're asking, will the Mobile 1.4 just include the 1.4.1 content, or will there be some interim step? Well, Loki clarified by saying, Mobile will be 1.4.05. So it won't launch at the final version, that recent 1.4.1 content that's out for PC, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for mobile 1.4.1. Spirits Core writes, Loki, will mobile get 1.4.1 update after this? And Loki replied with, mobile will get 1.4.1 at some point, yeah. I never really had any doubt about that. Zith writes, Loki, are you guys optimizing the boss battles, such as the Moon Lord fight for mobile? It appears to be laggy even if you meet the requirements. To that, Loki responded, doesn't lag for me, but I mean we support a lot of devices, so low-end gear, I can see it lagging maybe. That is why the graphics settings are there. And I'll add that if it ever looks laggy on a stream, if you've seen them stream that fight, it's not necessarily laggy on the actual device. I've noticed this myself while casting my mobile gameplay to my PC recently. It runs fine on the phone, but it looks laggy sometimes when you're casting it. 
Loki would go on to write, I should live stream mobile sometime again, you know, since I'm such an amazing streamer. A little self-deprecating humor there, uh, but I have to say people would love to see more of the game. I, I doubt that they would be that harsh of a critic. People just want to see it in action. Okay, maybe they might be a little harsh sometimes, but people still want to see it. Loki also wrote, Mobile has smooth water, but not ripples yet. Will come post-launch, someone asked. And he shared this video, which I have to say, it's fun to see all of this stuff functioning on a phone. I believe Loki uses an iPhone 11. The flying mount you see is also, as I understand it, the fastest mount in the game. I don't have one myself. I think it requires expert mode, I want to say, to unlock. And I'm just not that good at the game. But uh, yeah, you see all the features there. And I'll conclude with a nugget of timely philosophy from Loki that he shared on Discord. He writes, endings are also beginnings. Now that's a little cryptic, um, but games aren't made overnight, so what a treat it would be if we do get a reveal of a new project from Relogic in the next year or so. I mean, to say endings are also beginnings to me implies that, you know, by concluding Terraria, they might be working on some new project. We certainly haven't heard really anything lately from uh, Redigit himself. Maybe he's just earning some, or he's enjoying some well-earned R&R, but maybe he's working on a new project, who's to say? Redigit himself has said in the recent past that he wasn't going to be revealing any future projects as early as they had revealed the ill-fated Terraria Otherworld. They don't want to disappoint people. They want to really get the project pretty far along before they show us anything. So. I doubt we'll see much of anything if they are making something new until it's pretty far along. But hey, here's hoping, right? Because you know, if Terraria is any indication, they've got a really good feel for what people want to play. They've got good instincts in game development, and I'd, I would certainly be very interested in any future projects. So fingers crossed, they're coming up with something. Anyway, that was all Loki had to say recently on Discord. Like everyone else, he might be taking a step back now that 1.4.1 is done. All the mobile and console development is being done by DR Studios. So the Relogic folks, if they're working, probably working on you know, something new. Fingers crossed, as I said. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.